We'll show you how I achieved this mixed blonde box braids hairstyle. So obviously I already braided some of this hair and we're just going to proceed. I'm going to use expressions hair in this color. Then I'm going to use the mix. It comes in one pack just like that mixed. This is the length of the braids. Look at the length. So let me show you how this all went down. This is the standard way of setting your hair to braid. So you want to separate from the pack. I hate this hair. Look at this. It gets so tangled, but we'll talk about that in another video, hopefully. So I do keep my hair in this bun as I continue to proceed into the process. It's just easier to have my hair out the way. We're going to take from the pack and we're going to create two separate hairs. <laughs> And I mean, the visual is there, you know. So at the end of it all, you just want it to look like that. So now you're going to have three pieces of hair and you will see why and how it actually gets installed. So the middle piece, I like to grab with my natural hair. So I'm grabbing the twist and I'm just securing it with the canacle on hair and again the visual the visual the visual but once you actually secure it which is what I'm still doing here in this process that's when we will proceed to just braid this hair it was a struggle for me I'm not even gonna lie because this expression here gets so tangled and um, I don't usually use this hair. I bought it because of the length and this was the color that I was actually going for and the brand that I usually buy, they didn't have that color available. So this was my first experience and I can't say it will be my last because expression hair sucks. Look at me struggling, y'all. I can't make this shit up. Look, this process took me way longer than what it usually does because of this. I mean, like triple, quadruple the time. And don't even ask me how long it took because the answer is too long. Okay, now back to my professional commentaries. Now we're gonna grab the ends of the hair and we're going to secure it because being that we haven't dipped it in water yet, it has a chance of unraveling on you. So this is what I do just to make sure that doesn't happen. So I still got all of this to do. <laughs> okay, now that I'm barely done, I am going to clip the ends of this make sure that it's not stringy nasty looking and whatnot so we're just going to clean this up a little bit and this is what i do now i have dipped the hair in hot steaming water and i always use a a t-shirt to to dry it up i don't use a towel or none of that and now we're going to use the ego style of gel to get these baby hairs on fleek